Howdy everyone, YouTube land. Yochate, Gross South Texas. Hey folks, Johnny Practical Nurse here. Let me put this down for just a second. Today I wanted to show you something, okay, uh, that I thought was really cool because a couple of my friends and I got into this discussion about uh, the types of ammunition we use to defend our home uh, for pistol caliber. And, you know, a common one that came up, of course, people was your hollow points, okay? You know, all of us that do pistol, you know, we have home defense ammunition. Remember what I said about the 3% people? 3% of your ammo stock needs to be self-defense ammunition, okay? Just remember that because 3% of us will ever have to be called to use a firearm to protect our family or anything like that, livestock, ourselves, whatever. Magic number 3% that I, that, I, that I promote people, okay? But, you know, hollow points we all keep. But it got down to the subject about are you, have you ever, you know, worried about over penetration? said no guy ever but <laughs> but uh that did come up you know because you know you have your kids you know you have your loved ones you know uh things that go bump in the night and that weren't invited just kind of seem to either want to kick down your door or like in my experience they want to just tear up a window sneak in through a window so this folks might might you know it's a great idea people hits mushrooms out supposed to stop you know and do damage along the way but <laughs> I wanted to get into a different alternative, so I went and talked to my friend Jean over there at JT Sports in Coppers Cove. She is awesome, and she said, Johnny, I want you to try something. So she handed me a box of this. Folks, this is Liberty Ammunition Civil Defense Ammunition. This is for pistol caliber ammunition, people. I, I chose 40 cal because that's what I shoot. Uh, nine millimeter, they have in all kinds of different calibers. The really cool thing about this, people, is this is a frangible type round. Now, if you look, okay, it's still a hollow point, but this thing weighs in at approximately set of 60 grains. I'm sorry, that was Jock over there again. Uh, <laughs> so 60 grains, folks, okay? Uh, it, like I said, it is a hollow point, so we're gonna try this out. Now, the really cool thing about this is what this company promotes. Uh, look them up, too, www.LibertyAmmunition.com. They say that this right here, this bullet, has a two-inch dispersion pattern, okay, at 25 meters. It's got 12 inch penetration at 10 feet. Right now, where I'm standing is at 15 feet. What is your fighting distance in your house, people? National average, anywhere from zero to 10 is the average, and then you actually extends out to 35 feet. Okay, national average. All right, uh, reduced recoil, hit deep cavity projectile, starburst, frag starburst fragmentation. Let's give this a try, folks. So what I got for today, for my firearms of my choice are my Taurus 40 cal and I got the practical shoppers high point that we use for home she uses for homestead defense folks uh, this is pretty cool little man if you never tried one of these go give these a try okay 40 cal version okay uh, they do make 9 uh, 45 and 380 but I, I kind of was particular for this one uh, coyotes we have a problem with coyotes out here and a few other little nasty uh, chicken thieves, but okay, let's give us a try. So what we're going to target for is the bucket down range. I got a five gallon bucket and a two and a half gallon bucket and behind it is a piece of scrap drywall because I'm doing some remodeling in my house. So I wanted to try this folks. You ready to rock and roll? Let's give us a try, okay? Again folks, I am at 15 feet. Let's go have a look. Okay, hit the bottom bucket. And you've got kind of lots of damage there. Let's try not to get anything wet here. I'll show you this. But definitely did not. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Look at that. See that? I'm pulling all the fragments out. Look at that. Okay. That's it. I mean, it's. This is creek water, people. If you wonder why this water so nasty, <laughs> it's creek water. So I don't know if you can see in there and see the fragments. Hold on, let me try to get these out. But it doesn't look like it went anywhere else. Kind of looks like you lost your 
look at it, it's like it flattened out. But you fragment it out, you got like the fragments in here. That's amazing. All right, let's give us another whirl, people. This time, I'm gonna set this down here. This time, I'm gonna try the 4095. I haven't shot that pistol in a long time. Not as much as I'd want to. Because I've been doing all those armor tests y'all have been seeing. So let's give this a let's give this a whirl. Now I don't see anywhere else. That drywall has remained intact, okay? The drywall's intact. Got a little splatter from the water, but that's about it. Alright. So far so good. Alright. Set this down. This time. High point. I'm going to be a little, little high because I'm going to try to get it right in the vicinity of that drywall. Did you like that? Hmm. <laughs> Creek water is pretty good this time of the year. <laughs> Let's go give us a look, people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, putting lids on five gallon buckets. Uh, okay, hold on, folks, hold on. Let me scooch this over here. That's the old stuff. Let me try to drain this out here without losing anything. It's good for the grass, folks, good for the grass. We had a lot of rain here recently. My creek is my creek is overrun. Okay, here we go. Try to separate the sand. It, this, folks, this is totally. Look at this. I'll, hold on, I'll, I'll get the camera over here. That just totally fragmented. Wow. Huh. So I'm going to sit there. I want you all to see this. But I got all kinds of little fragments here. But it didn't go through. Hold on, folks. Let me let me let you see this here. Okay, entrance. Entrance. Got the entrance hole right there, folks. And notice the split, though. And then, you, again, you have all kinds of fragments right there. Isn't that amazing? Again, the bullet just kind of like impacted. Just, woo. That is pretty impressive, folks. But notice, no exit through the bucket. You do have entrance. I mean, a nice 40 caliber hole there. Drywall is good and intact other than being a little soggy. Uh, so if we had to take a, you're talking about people, maybe about two and a half, two feet away from the bucket. So, hey. All right, people, let me tell you something. This stuff is not cheap. I want to say it's about $25 for a box of 20, but like I tell people who ask me, what is the safety of your family worth? If you know you've got to deploy this right here to defend them, what is your safety worth, okay? Good question, okay? So, folks, hope you love this demonstration. Again, this is Liberty Ammunition Civil Defense. I'm gonna get a couple more boxes because it's pretty cool. It is kind of expensive, people, about a dollar twenty or so around, but well worth it. Well worth it. Again, remember the three percent. Three percent of your inventory needs to be committed to homestead, property defense, your defense, in-house defense. Okay. All right, folks. I'm Johnny Practical Nurse. Until I see y'all again, out here.